It's the afternoon of October 17th, and we're set up on uh, Bill's old farm this afternoon. Temperatures have climbed up to about 70 degrees, and it's real windy today. Um, you know, about a 20 degree change from the other day when we were buck hunting. So we decided to come here in here this afternoon, uh, do a little doe hunting. This is probably one of my favorite spots on this whole farm. It's down in a big bottom. Uh, we're overlooking a big field, the big and beastie. We've got a creek on two sides surrounded by timber. Shot a lot of deer here in the past. Um, just a really good spot. I love sitting here. You see a lot of deer. So, um, so hopefully, uh, before long, something starts moving. That's going to uh, wrap it up for us tonight. Pretty slow night. You know, we saw that bobcat push a couple deer across that field, and he kind of hung around for a little while, and there's a bunch of deer blowing up in the timber above us. And there's another shot, I think, over on the neighbor's. Uh, it's opening day or the muzzle loader season today. So, um, you know, whether they were blowing a hit or the bobcat, and we had those coyotes come in or kind of locked down for a little while there. Um, I thought he was going to kind of give us a shot, but he kind of pushed those little bucks across and uh, just stayed too far to the left of the blind, never offered me a shot. So, um, kind of sucks, no, no does in this field tonight. So, kind of weird, but um, that coyote, man, he was just munching on, the, on those turnips. I don't know, I've never really seen any coyotes or anything uh, eat turnips like that. I guess I didn't know they ate them, but man, he was munching on them. Man, he's been in here for 30 minutes probably, so it's kind of cool see that but uh, anyway tomorrow it's supposed to drop uh, in temperature about 25 degrees it's supposed to rain and kind of snow maybe uh, early morning 
and then tomorrow evening should be really good so i'm not real sure what buck we're going to target we got a new buck showing up um where i killed my bow buck last year on the creek bottom farm he's a big nine pointer i've had pictures of him last year um he's a heck of a deer so he's been showing up pretty regular uh on a big scrape that i've got so we may uh see what the wind's doing tomorrow and kind of maybe go in after him so if not, we may be back in after that big split deer. I haven't really decided on the wind yet, but uh, either way, we'll definitely be in a tree. And one other thing I wanted to mention is the Just White Tail just reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so we appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll definitely be in the tree stand tomorrow, so uh, keep checking back.